All right, Virgo, let's see what's going on with you and your person. We're going to see about you, you guys being no contact. What's the energy going on, okay? What's the energy for Virgo and the person that they're not speaking to? I feel like somebody's longing for you. Either you're longing for them or they're longing for you. Somebody has a longing energy. New love. Interesting. So, you know what I'm getting? I'm getting that some of you could have been, or somebody that you're dealing with could have been in denial about somebody that you were newly talking to. And there's an energy here of having to release it. It could have been because somebody was in denial. So, there was a need here for a detachment so somebody could see the truth, see what somebody wanted. Yeah, and I find you so attractive. Interesting. I miss being with you. I'm not financially stable. So somebody here could not be financially abundant. And I still have feelings for you. Interesting. So what I'm getting is that somebody here released someone and then actually have feelings for them. They were in denial. And it took the releasing for them to be like, oh, crap. Um, I actually find them very attractive. I miss being with them. But I'm struggling. I'm not as abundant as I wanted them to be see me as i'm getting for some of you that it could have been the energy of them buy you something and them try to make you feel bad for it and it's like okay i can't help that you're struggling yeah i can't reach out so them not wanting to reach out but them not wanting to let you go either them realizing that they have feelings here that they actually do care for you or it's, this could be you virgo somebody here was pulling the wool over their eyes all right, what's the current moment with Virgo and this person? Virgo and this person. What's the current moment for Virgo and the person that they're dealing with that they're not speaking to? So it's all about divine timing. Somebody's healing. Somebody's heartbroken. Somebody's stressed out. Somebody's losing sleep. Somebody's only worried about their money. Um, someone's feeling hopeful about some sort of cycle changing in the current moment. But this depends upon who this is, Virgo. This could be you. This could be them. But somebody here is very, being very practical, being very logical. And really, I feel like it's being unsure if, yep, if things are going to turn in their favor because there's a heartbroken energy. I feel like they're wanting to come back in and speak to you. Or you're wanting to go back in and speak to them. Somebody here is wanting for this to come back around. But somebody's scared that it couldn't. How do they view Virgo? Interesting. They view you they view you as something that come in very unexpectedly, something that they were building with that it crumbled very quickly and they feel very sad and disappointed about it. They can also view you in this connection as something that they gave some sort of energy to, some sort of passionate creative energy towards. They were very attracted to you, but there's a sense here of feeling backstabbed, betrayed, feeling like that they were part of a competition setting, feeling like that they were having to defend for you defend having to fight for you and your attention so that's how they view you they view you as someone who put them in maybe an energy that wasn't necessarily the best that you were playing the field and being very practical on how you played the field or vice versa you could feel this for them interesting how they view this connection how do they view this connection as something that's been moved forward they've moved forward from this again whoever Release this, his move forward, his let it go. They're also spying on you, Virgo. They're wanting to come in with an offer, but they're wounded. See, still, this is that heartbroken energy. So they could have went, they could have went and did something and invested in some sense, form, or fashion, and it didn't work out for them. It put them in a heartbroken energy. As I said, that look exactly. How does this person feel about Virgo? They wanted commitment with you in some sense, form, or fashion. They wanted to invest, but there was a transformation here that happened. So they feel like you're someone worth investing in. They feel like that they could have some sort of commitment, some sort of foundation here for you. They do have feelings for you. They want to invest with you. They want to come in and have some sort of communication about changing and transforming this. But the problem is going to be is that someone here is going to be a little guarded and maybe scared or feel like that someone's intentions aren't the best anymore when they want to come in and take a leap and bring balance. I'm getting that somebody's not going to trust them now. Yeah, because look, the energy is like, well, you're you're just, you're bad about coming in and telling me what I want to hear and going right back out. Interesting. 
what are they keeping to their self? They could have some sort of addiction, toxicity. They could have some sort of codependent energy. They could be very codependent on people who need them, who have to have them in their life. There's a decision here or something that they're needing to make a choice on. It could have to do with the court systems, the legal systems. There's a choice here that they're needing to make. This could be something as simple as balancing this out between you guys, actually giving in the effort. But what they're keeping and hiding to their self is that for some of you, maybe it's hard for them to do that. That they could have some, again, toxicities, dependencies, addictions, codependencies. There's something here that this person's feeling bound to. And that's what they keep to their self. There's a decision here that they're not wanting to make. A choice that they're not wanting to make. Something that they're trying to blind their self to. This person, I'm going to be honest, could have a problem with accepting accountability. Responsibility. Yeah. But they're feeling left out. Interesting. For some of you, this could be the kind of person who's bad about having children and then they can't afford the children. I'm seeing someone with like six and seven kids. Yeah, and that's what I'm getting. It's like I'm having, I'm going out, I'm having fun, I'm having drinks. I feel like they could end up getting people pregnant. And next thing you know it, they have a few kids and they can't even afford to take care of themselves because they're constantly in the legal system. For some of you, this is someone who doesn't want to get divorced because they know that when they do, there's going to be a feeling left out energy. That they're going to get their butt handed to them. So they're blinding themselves. Again, see? Making themselves seem stuck. That's the things that they're keeping to themselves. I feel like... For some of you, in the past, they could have told you that they were taking action or they were actually doing this A, B, C, and D, and I don't feel like they have been. What does Virgo not see about this person? Is that this person's very guarded. They could also, again, be struggling financially. Struggling, and that's something you don't see. They're even unsure about coming in and offering you something because, one, they know that they can't meet your standard. Two, they know that the chances of them getting a second chance is held to high water. I'm getting that for some of you. There's something that they've invested in in some sense, form, or fashion in like a family dynamic that's wounded them severely. They've got what they've asked for, and they had to walk away to get clarity again. But now here they're missing you. I'm getting for some of you that they could have went and invested in something else thinking that they were going to have the upper hand. So they could have left you, went and invested with somebody else, thought that they were just going to live their best life. Next thing they know, they're getting backstabbed, betrayed, things aren't working out, they're single. And they're like, you know what? I chose them because I thought that they were going to need me, they were going to depend on me, and I was going to have them wrapped around my finger for a year. When in reality, I have feelings for Virgo. I'm stuck with this person. And my life is a shit show. What, what did I really get from that? There's some sort of cycle that's completing in this person's life. But I feel like financially, they've taken a hit significantly. So, upcoming future energy. They are going to bring you something. They're going to bring some sort of apology or some sort of message. But I don't know if you're going to take it. I see that you're a little more open to you being by yourself. You're wanting something new. You're wanting something fresh. You've been waiting for this person to come in. But now you're a little more stuck on if you want to accept it. It's like you know your worth. You're demanding your worth. And you're not accepting someone who's going to come in and out. And who isn't going to bring you something that you bring to the table. This is what I'm getting. You're bringing shrimp, lobster, crabs to the dinner. This person's bringing ramen noodles. And you're like, nah, no, 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 no. That, that, no, I'm the empress. I know my worth. I've manifested better. So I see you being stuck now on this person. But something you don't see is that this person is struggling financially significantly. And a lot of it's because of the choices that they've made. They could, they could have a really bad drinking problem where they go out and drink and drink and drink and drink and drink. But I do feel like for some of you, they pay a buttload in child support if they have children. And I feel like it's just, for some of you, again, I'm getting the energy that it could be a kid or two that's just been made in a one-night thing. And just a passion energy. Interesting. All right. We're going to leave that here, Virgo. Have a blessed day.